Chillins. Okay, baseball. We're going to be covering four topics real quick. Quick. Will Chris Carpenter retire? Will, uh, who won the trade where Jed Lowry was the centerpiece? And where will Bourne and Loesch end up? Okay. Chris Carpenter. Marker, please. Chris Carpenter. Um, he just had, he has nerve damage. He's going to miss the entire 2013 season. He's contemplating retirement. And um, he's 37 years old. But if he retires, uh, he's going to miss out on, like, what was it, like, $25 million for that year. So if he retires, he's going to miss out on some money. So I think he's going to stay. So, no, I don't think he's going to retire. What do you think, John? Well, you got to look at the career he's had so far. He's had a good year, but we're talking money. So... Dan put up a good point. He's going to miss out on, I think it was $25 million. So he's having, he's having surgery. It could end his career. It, he could never be the same person again. So I'm going to say he is not going to retire. All right, let me uh, jump in this fire real quick. How old did we say he was? 37. 37. He's a 37-year-old pitcher that's about to have surgery. Need I say any more? I, he, he's a good player, and yes, I, it, it is a lot about money, especially in the MLB. Look at the Red Sox. Um, I think Chris Carpenter retires. All right, um, yeah, I think Chris Carpenter, he's, gonna, he's done. He's had a great career. He's, yeah, well, he had a rib taken out, and the nerve problem is still not gone, so I'm just going to say, yeah, he's going to retire. Okay. Jed Lowry trade. Okay. For those who didn't see my post, like, yesterday or the day before, um, Jed Lowry was traded to... From the Houston Astros to the Oakland Athletics for first baseman Chris Carter, um, starting pitching prospect uh, Brad Peacock, who's really close to coming back up to the MLB, and uh, catching prospect Max Stassi. The, um, the A's also got um, the uh, right-handed relieving pitcher Fernando Rodriguez. Um, so... Both teams got a lot of return in this one. Um, obviously, short-term versus long-term. The A's got better short-term investment. The, a the Astros got better long-term investment. But overall, I think the Astros won this one because the A's gave up way too much for a player that's not even going to play 100 games this season. I mean, he gets injured every single season, it seems. So I'm going to go Houston on this one. On this one, I'm I'm gonna go I'm gonna go Oakland, and I'll tell you right now. I'm gonna go with Oakland because they could get Jed Lowry now. They could do a bunch of possibilities if he gets injured. They could trade him in the middle of the season. He's he'll be good on the market for um, possible trades. So I'm gonna go with Oakland on this one. I know Houston got good prospects, but I think Jed Lowry's not gonna get injured this year. Um, I really have bare bones about, I have a really bare bones opinion about this whole thing. Um, when you have money tied up in a liability, kids, it's bad. Don't do it. It's bad in the long run, which is why I think Houston won this trade. And I say this because, like I said, having money tied up in a liability like Jed Lowry is awful. And look what it did to the Red Sox when we got J.D. Drew. Epstein just had to have him. All right, so, yeah, 
I think I think Houston got a better deal out of this because Houston got the prospects that are going to help in the long run for them because they're in the process of rebuilding. And Jed Lowry, he's a good player, and I think he's a really good fit for the A's, who are a very young team. So I'm going to say Houston. All right, the next one. I'm going to say Michael Bourne's going to go to the Phillies just because the Red Sox ended up getting Shane Victorino, leaving them with no center fielder. So I'm going to say he's going to go there. And then for Kyle Loesch. Uh, I'm not really sure about Kyle Loesch because he's not going back to the Cardinals. So I think I'm just going to say he's going to, I'm going to, say he's going to go to the A's. Right. Okay. Um, so, Bourne, um, I think Michael Bourne is going to go to the Seattle Mariners because the Mariners need some uh, outfield and he can provide it. And they have the payroll, I, the payroll flexibility to do it. And I think they'd be willing to um, give him a couple years. So, I think. The that Seattle is gonna get him. Oh you. Oh yeah, and uh, Loesch. Um, sorry about that. I think Loesch will probably end up on um, on the Brewers, the Milwaukee Brewers, because um, they've been expressing interest in him. They really kind of need an ace, cause as good as Gallardo is, I don't think he's that much, I don't think he can qualify as an ace. And um, I think Lowe should really fill that hole for them. And, like, they they have a lot of okay pitchers in their rotation. They, like, Gallardo is really the only standout in their rotation to me. So I think that Loesch will end up on the Brewers. What about you? I'm going to just throw a random team out here for Bourne because he hasn't signed yet. I, 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 he's drawing a lot of interest. And one of the teams that is not drawing interest is one of the teams I'm actually going to pick here. I'm going to pick Baltimore. Yes, the Orioles. Yes, I know. You're looking at me weird. I know. I'll explain. What the Orioles have been looking for has been, is been outfielders. They've been looking for outfielders and... They haven't had good ones. That's that's their problem. They've had Marcakis. That's that's fine with them, but they need a good centerpiece. And I feel they could build around Bourne. They got close last year, and if they get Bourne, they'd be right in the long run again. So, where's Loesch gonna go? I'm gonna throw another random team out here because I I honestly don't know where Loesch will end up. But I'm gonna say he's gonna go to the Yankees on a two-year deal worth twenty million dollars, ten million a year, and that's where. Both these guys are going to go up. So uh, I said it to Jack really quietly while John was giving his opinion so that Jack literally stole everything that I thought about Bourne. Uh, plus, when your last name is Bourne, you tend to draw a lot of interest. I think that's been made pretty clear with uh, what Hollywood's been doing with the Bourne identity and all that series. But uh, really, though, I, I agree with Jack totally um, about what he's saying with uh, Philly. He literally... He took, he took the words right out of my mouth. You know, he took them right out of my head. I wasn't even going to say them, and he did, came out of nowhere. So I say Bourne goes to Philly. And I like what Dan said about uh, Lois going to uh, Milwaukee, and I feel like you guys think I sound stupid right now for saying that I agree with Jack and Dan on two questions, but I... I agree with Dan. He watches and knows baseball better than I do, so I'm going to go with him. No offense to John or Jack. You guys aren't idiots. I, I just feel better off going with uh, what uh, Dan would have said about baseball, especially considering he picked uh, three for five last week, and him and I uh, picked the same thing for the uh, Super Bowl. We uh, both picked the uh, Ravens. Thank you, John. So uh, Milwaukee, I think they're uh, – they're a team that could totally. Uh... Yes. Hi everyone. It's a, it's 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 a it's a it's a party now. I got all my friends. Uh, 
We're getting ready to go to a. Uh, hi, Rob. We're getting ready to go to a big uh, after party after this, but uh, gonna uh, wrap it up here. I agree with what uh, Dan says about uh, Loge going to uh, Milwaukee. All of these, all of my uh, friends here, uh, John, Jack, and Dan, they all made really good points. However, I do think Milwaukee is a team that is currently. Uh, I do think Milwaukee's kind of like what the Red Sox are doing right now. They're more or less looking to uh, rebuild their whole uh, organization. And I, uh, I, I agree with that. I think uh, Lord is going to uh, Milwaukee. And we, uh, we, we, we have uh, one more question left. And that says, should Carl Pavano retire? I notice how uh, I'm the only one answering this question. Um, and this is a joke. Carl Pavano is a good player, but when you uh, rupture your spleen, um, Shovelies. shoveling Sorry. snow, <laughs> I think something should be done about that. So I now want to. And yes, that is kind of a Yankee symbol. Yeah. That's a N and L. Why? And I say that because, uh, like I said, when you rupture your spleen, shoveling snow, we know it is a problem. But. In all seriousness, no. Um, Carl Pavano has a, uh, he's got a reputation. He's, uh, he, he, uh, he comes up big uh, when his team needs it the most. And uh, that sums it up, you know. There's a lot of guys in the league like that, but I think Carl uh, Pavano is more synonymous with that. So uh, I think that's all for this week. Uh, hold on, hold on. Okay. Um, this is really sudden. Breaking news from um, from uh, Score Center. Um, so Felix Hernandez. If you care about baseball, you should know who that is. And the Mariners just agreed to a seven-year, one hundred and seventy-five million dollar contract. Just <laughs> just uh, one hour ago. So um, just wanted to report that real fast. And um, that is really huge news. They've been. Teasing at it for a couple weeks now, and it finally happens, and that's a huge contract. That's uh, bigger than actually the Granky contract that happened with the Dodgers. And that's saying something, because the yeah. Dodgers are like the Yankees. They're just buying everybody. Although, um, now I don't think that the Mariners have the payroll flexibility to av afford born. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have no idea where he'll end up. Um, actually, now that I think about it, the Mets have been talking with him a lot. David Wright's been talking with him a lot. So I think that the New York Mets will get uh, born, who we spelled the name of wrong. <laughs> um, oh. So, yeah, that's all for this week. Be sure to watch our videos next week and comment.